Hello, I'm Brent Ferris from the Braider Man Studios, and in this video I wanted to show you proximity-based updates, which is often called Area of Interest, AOI, and the two events that we have attached to it, as well as the two override methods. These methods and events are for when other objects come into that area of interest and when they leave it. So, uh, let's get started. Basically, in the canvas, we have a uh, proximity based updates and we have a proximity distance. I'll leave it as five units for now. This is Unity, uh, this is the Unity units or the units inside of Unity. So I'm going to build this out and we're going to see it work. So I'm going to make this one the server and I'm going to make this one over here the client. So you can see that uh, it works as normal when they move around. However, now whenever I move out of the uh, the zone the area of interest you'll see that I actually have an event set up to disable the renderer on the object that leaves the scope and when it enters back in you'll notice that uh, it comes back to uh, the renderer turns back on and I left the name tag in here you can kind of see it here possibly these little white pixels on the screen and those uh, just to show you that when I move over here it doesn't actually replicate over here on the clients so uh, that's basically the area of interest and the two events that fire. And you'll see that I have a bunch of uh, logs here printing out from each of the events that get fired. So let's check out the code and how we can actually manage uh, or attach some functions to these events. All right, so over here in the code, there are, well, I'll show you the events first and the overridable methods. So the first events that I have is entered proximity and exited proximity. And these do exactly as they state. So when another object enters the proximity, what it's going to do is it's going to have a mine object and an other object. The other is the one that has entered the proximity. And it's going to say the other name entered my, my name, proximity. And whenever it exits the proximity, so it goes outside of the area of interest, we're going to say that that object has left it. Now, this does derive from networked mono behavior, as the networked mono behavior is in control of the proximity based updates. Uh, so that's basically events that you can attach and detach to them as normal events would happen, uh, as you would do normally with events, and they'll fire off. The second one that I want to show you is down here at the bottom. These are the overridable methods that you can uh, use as well if you don't need to register to events. The events are useful because you can actually register them on other objects or other classes in other areas and be able to fire off methods based on when things come in and leave. The overridable methods are useful for when you want to do something to that particular object and that particular object only. So when that object has entered my proximity, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn that object's renderer uh, enabled. I'm going to enable its renderer. When that object, the other object that's not mine, has exited the proximity, I am going to uh, turn the enabled state or the enabled boolean of its renderer to false. This is what was making it uh, turn on and off the renderer that we saw inside of Unity. So that's basically the the uh, few steps that we have for proximity-based updates. We have these two override bill methods. Just to recap, we have these two events: the e entered proximity and exited pro proximity. And lastly, we have. Uh, proximity based updates which gets turned on and proximity distance. So with the proximity distance again that's the units inside of unity let's check out the code for how we use these two booleans just in case you're not using the start game script. Uh, we have the we basically have a reference to the socket we're working with which may be your primary socket and we're going to say my, make proximity based updates and then we're going to pass in a proximity distance. So this is basically all you need to be able to uh, set up the proximity uh, on the network. So it's just by calling this function uh, on your networker. So uh, if you have any questions, please let us know. And thanks for watching.